Number 55 Manuel Comninos Aware that he was dying, the Emperor Manuel Comninos, one misty September morning, sent to the church for ecclesiastical vestments. The paid astrologers laughed. You won't need those, they told him. You will live for many, many years, waving their charts in his face. The emperor knew otherwise. He would follow ancient tradition, assume the venerable priestly garb appropriate to his fatal situation. The Emperor Manuel Comnenos, robed with ostentatious piety, peaceful in his mind, contentedly awaited his earthly end, dressed in the habiliments of his faith. Number 56 Seleucides Displeasure Ptolemy Philometor, expelled from Alexandria by his brother, sues to the Roman Senate for reinstatement. Demetrius Seleucides is livid that Ptolemy, a Ptolemy, has arrived in such poor state inappropriately dressed and badly attended. This will make their dynasty a joke, the laughing stock of Rome. He cannot stand it. Seleucides is not stupid, though offended. He realizes they are little more than servants. The Romans give or take away their thrones at their own pleasure. Nonetheless, some dignity is essential. After all, they are kings. Seleucides tries to press on Ptolemy purple robes and a jeweled crown, diamonds and servants and retainers, and his most expensive horses to enable him to enter Rome in splendor as befits their common kingly status. Ptolemy has different ideas. He has arrived to beg and must refuse all these proffered luxuries. He comes into Rome dressed in shabby clothes, lodges in a humble working man's home. It is thus that Ptolemy appears before the Senate, unkempt, bedraggled, bowing, eager to please. He knows the effect of theatre, plays his part, Number 57 In the Street His handsome face is pale, His brown eyes blinking, dazzled, Looks twenty, but is really twenty-five. Something theatrical about his clothes, The colour of his tie, the shape of his collar. Shambling bemusedly along the street, mindlessly dazed by illegal pleasure, the delightful sin in which he's just engaged. <laughs>